when should you use the SW1 or when you should use the normal turbine for, for milling the ceramics? All right, well, I'll let you take the floor. Let's go ahead. Um, in general, if you want to process um, high performance ceramics like zirconium oxide, you should do it with um, special diamond tools and with water cooling. So water cooling has to be used um, to cool down the, the diamond tools. If you are working on zirconium oxide without diamond tools, you will burn and destroy your diamond tools immediately as the zirconium is so hot that it would um, create too much temperature on the diamond tools. That's why you use a turbine. And the other reason for using a turbine is um, you have very high RPMs on the tool. It goes up to 300,000 rounds per minute. And that gives you, um, or that allows you to work on the ceramic without um, pushing too hard on the tools. So you do not need a lot of pressure for processing the zirconium oxide. And the big advantage of um, this low pressure grinding is that you uh, do not destroy the, the crystalline structure of the zirconium oxide. Um, the disadvantage of the turbine inside the milling machine is um, the turbine is not so precise as the normal electric milling spindle. The turbine always has um, some play inside the ball bearings and the electric milling spindle for example is completely rigid inside the bearings so there is absolutely no play and no tolerance inside the bearing system. All right so the um, uh, so what you're saying is a uh, uh, an, an electric turbine is more accurate than what yes. a friction grip uh, air yeah. turbine would be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the then, problem is, for example, let's say this is the diamond tool, and when you are start when you start to to grind, the, for example, a telescopic crone or an implant abutment, um, the diamond tool starts to do this. You will never have a 90 degree milling surface, there will always be some kind of angle inside your milling. Because there is a little bit of play in, in, in the bearing system. Okay, so that would be a, like a slight angle though. It wouldn't be, it would be very, very minor angle. Yes, exactly. Okay. And, um, to, go ahead. Yeah. and today the technicians, they are working with CAD CAM systems. Um, for example, when they are working with telescopic crones and they want to um, create the, um, the, the secondary crones by a CAD CAM system, they are processing the primary part by hand with a milling machine, for example, with a turbine, and then they put it inside the scanner, an optical scanner, and then you see the results on your screen and the software tells you exactly where there are some mistakes in the angle. A few years ago, the technicians um, do that all by hand without any scanning, without any software, and so they, uh, they didn't realize that there is an error in the angle or some false angle. But today, with new technology, they realize, uh huh, the turbine is not so precise as I thought. And um, that made room for the SW1 milling system.